Well, maybe you know me well enough to know I like Max Ace knives. They, they're always out there doing weird shit, aren't they? Different, different stuff. If you want a sensible knife, screw it. Don't do this. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, technically, this may be one of the few that is pretty damn sensible. Hey, by the way, we got, we got a piece of paper around here. Ooh, that, that, that did that pretty quick. Okay, so this is M390 blade titanium button lock. I mean, I'm kind of liking the fact that some people have the huevos to do a button lock. I'll tell you what, I am, I'm worn out on somebody taking a buzz saw down onto my backside of my knife and cutting a big line there and going, aren't you happy? It's a frame lock. No, I'm not that happy about that being a frame lock. I like it when the front and the back look the same. And so, yeah. Oh, no G10 and then titanium here? No. I want it both sides. Whatever it is. G10 both sides. Titanium both sides. Whatever. Um, and so this does both for me. First of all, it gets away from the boring equation of frame locks. Second of all, it, it, it is uh, matches front and back. And it's got style, baby. It's got style. And look at this. I mean, hello? That is so easy. Um, I, I guess the biggest bitch I probably have about this knife, or at least question mark, is do I need these large melanomas on the sides? I mean, do I really? Because... I can kick it open just through the cutaway right here, right? I mean, you can open it with the cutaway or, I mean, it's a button lock. You don't even need to do that. Why do I need these? Why do I need these? Now it looks like it's landing there, so that may be the stop. That may the, be the backside stop. Here's the stop up here, but the backside, it may not be have it this may not be the stop this may be the stop because it looks like it looks like they're making contact so maybe that's the answer right there we put the melanomas on for a reason now uh, it's just kind of like the riot uh torrent you know it has big old thumb studs on it both sides and they're kind of they're big okay uh, okay well, you know, maybe uh, maybe that adds a little bit of heft, pizzazz, style points, and all that. Um, let, let's grab my calipers here and just kind of get some basics. Mm, half an inch, 12.6 millimeters as far as thickness on the blade on the handle. Blade is 3.7, so it's close to four millimeters at 0.14. Now. This is not a small knife, which is another plus for me, which is 3.75 inch blade at like 95, 96 millimeters and eight and three quarter overall length at 22 centimeters. You hit 22, you got something. Um, you can see on the back side, kind of like where that spring and everything's going in from the other side. Uh, I guess, yeah, I, I think they could have made that flush and not even visible, except for when they did this, you know, they cut away on this uh, titanium. Now, the bead blasting is smooth, and congratulations, you just won. You won the fact that it's number eights all the way up and down here. Number eights? Good God. Um, you know, it's about time. Wake up. Bing, bing, you know, the, the bell's ringing. Yeah, number eights. Yeah, eight is great. Uh, let me see. Is that number eight on the pocket clip too? Whoosh, it's possible. They said it could not be done. A number eight on the pocket clip. So what size uh, wrenches do you need to get this apart? One. A number eight. That's it. Whew. Thank God. 
backspacers nice you know so they did blue contrasts on here which i'm good when you got uh gray when you got silver blue is nice uh look at that ceramic ball there it's setting in the moon landing crater in there that's that's interesting uh okay yeah that's uh flexes uh you know i can't remember but i don't think this was ultra easy in and out of the pocket I think I had to kind of grab the front part of my pocket, kind of pull, out, tug on it to tighten the fabric so this would go over the lip of my pocket. So it is a little bit more of an issue. It doesn't just easy slide in and out. Um, but damn, it looks good. That looks really good. Look at that ball, <laughs> big, big old ceramic ball on there. Ah, I missed. Oh, and, and the detent on here. Not much. Look at that. But, I mean, it's a button lock. And, I mean, at first when I got this knife, I go, ah, okay, I better check this. I think it's loose. And what's interesting is, no, there's no play here. It's not loose. And it's centered up. Whew. Boy, it feels loosey-goosey. And I wonder if there's multi-row ceramic uh, bearings on here. I mean, this kind of feels like it. So I'll be almost really surprised if there aren't multi-row ceramic bearings. Because that's, that's just a crazy easy drop. Now, it, like I said, not great detent. That's why you want to be able to, you know, do, do a double layout pike off a cliff and land on your feet. And this won't come open good luck and by the way i got a good orthopedic surgeon for you but no I, I, you know it is what it is and it's a fancy boy now you walk in you show it to your friends they go gold dang boy you got you something there oh and it comes in a zipper pouch by the way oh and here's the tag on the outside babylon and uh, I'm a whore for button locks, so I guess I'm the whore of Babylon. And thus saith the good book. And there's that. Oh, and check this out. You get more stuff. You can rebuild about five more knives with this. What in the Hades are they doing? All for the measly sum of 250 pestolians, except for the fact, except for the fact that with the 10% discount code LTK for any and all on White Mountain Knives, as many times as you want, okay, then there's 25 bucks off. So it's 225 free shipping, no tax. I mean, where am I paying 10% tax on some other sites? That would be another 25 bucks, correct? Instead of 275, it's 225. That's a $50 swing. I mean, if it's on a site that charges you 10% tax, okay, and you don't have a discount code, amen, brother. So, plastic pouch or pocket, pocket here with extra hardware, and the, uh, is that a gold nugget? No, nah, I guess not. Okay, so no extra, you know, free uncut diamonds or $100 bills or anything, but, that's a good little pouch right there. And of course, you know, they, they do Midnight Cat Studio knives. So it's a multi-purpose pouch for them, but it's a good solid pouch. And you got you a knife here, boy. Um, it's good and sturdy. Uh, the Ergos, yeah. Okay, um, here it comes again. I could have, I could have X'd out the hump. Couldn't you, I mean, just take whatever's cut in here and just take it off, right? Just take it off. I think it'd be okay. Or at least take something off of this. Um, you're defining space here. Um, actually, with me, it works, okay? With me, it works, so, okay. Um, and can I crawl up here? Y yeah, kinda. Yeah, I guess I can. Because there is this little cutaway here, which should make it easy to sharpen, by the way. Babylon 2021 20, M390. Be there, be square. 
and they only make so many of these and then they're they're gone they just evaporate that's another thing i like about max ace it's like either get on the train or you know you you're going to lose because you ain't going to get one um okay you know uh, i understand that and it's kind of uh a bit of a makes it a little bit more exciting when you can get your hands on one before they sell out because they don't do them again and again and again so uh you might be able to find these also online at alibaba or aliexpress you know their online ordering thing so i mean they're a huge multi-billion dollar you know company but chinese and so i order stuff from there too if it runs out in the u.s and you know it's going to take you two or three weeks to get it but it shows up um thumb ramp okay um yeah i mean that is uh that's a swedge down there. That's not exactly too delicate of a blade tip. And so that gives you ability to kind of pick away at things and, and pierce and do some of that kind of thing. Also with a nice belly for slicing. And since it's not, give me, give me a box around here somewhere. And since, so it's not, you know, see what I'm saying? You got contact, it's not like a, like one where you got a flipper tap it's and you you got contact like this no all the way through you can be rocking it and that's good so actually you could do some kitchen duty with this thing i don't know you might want to get in with some kind of a small bladed screwdriver and see if you can break these loose if you're going to be doing some of that because once you're once your blade gets that deep, whatever your product that you're chopping, see what I'm saying? That's why this would have been kind of interesting if you could remove it and it wasn't part of the stop, okay? Uh, but then again, you probably got better knives to do kitchen work than a $225 button lock from Max Ace. This is more like I'm the stud type carry here. That pocket clip is really cool. I like it. It would have been interesting had they brought this screw from the inside so it wasn't even visible. I mean, I kind of like the hardware to disappear when, when available. And here, I think they could have left one of these screws off and just done an interior pin to locate because they have a screw here and here. I don't think they needed that extra set of screws there. But be what it may, it's, uh, it's way cool. 111 grams at, uh, it's under four ounces. I mean, shit, it's got three and three quarter inch blade. It, it, it's, it's 22 centimeters. Wow, that, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. And that's a big old long backspacer too. I mean, you're throwing a lot of stuff in there. Still, it's not that heavy. Amazing. Uh, design flow is great. That all melts away. Blade to handle length. Well, I mean, I don't know. I think they could have thrown some more on there, don't you? Um, I can't touch that. I think they could have done maybe another 16th. And maybe they're afraid to get too close to four inches, you know? Three and three quarters about where they want to land most of the time, it seems like, if they're going to do a larger knife. But, okay, I could I could have lived with it being more like 3.85 inch blade and fill up a little bit more of this. What's my bounce? Oh, my bounce is easy to find on this knife. Yeah, way cool. Now let's hope we don't uh, completely screw this knife up by taking it apart, but we only need what size wrench? Okay, let's... Ooh, wow, that was easy. Well, they didn't load it up with thread locker. Thank you, boys. Appreciate that. And, yeah, flat spot. Love the flat spot. Okay, good. That means that you can actually unscrew the damn thing without everything spinning around and uh, completely destroying your life and your attitude in the meantime 
that you can actually disassemble it. And I'll bet those screws are all the same length. They look like it so far. And I reckon, I guess that pocket clip doesn't need to come off, by the way. <laughs> um, because it's right through here and it's not attached to anything but the scale. There's your uh, weight relieving. It's really clean in here. And there's your flat spot on here. Stabilize that pivot. And I don't want to take these little screws out of here. Okay. Um, oh, well, what did I tell you? Multi-row ceramic bearings. Bingo. I can call them. Um, and there's your steel washer that goes over there because you've got, oh, okay, bank spring time and <laughs> spring time okay um, 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 um let's pull this out and uh pull this oh 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 well first of all I need to find a home for this and eh, we got that out they cup the spring in there and then it goes into the goes into this side here so it's a pretty simple mechanism and there you go, multi-row ceramics, baby. You know it when you feel it. You know it when you feel it. Ah, push you out. Okay, so we're just flattened at the end of that pivot, which means it goes through here. So this part shouldn't have a flat spot on it, and it doesn't. And I just knocked out the uh, steel washer too, which is nice. It, I mean, everything about this looks really damn clean and orderly um there's your area for that uh on that side for that for that uh button situation wow cool okay well i'm not sure but i don't think i've seen a cleaner knife you know i mean weight relieved on both sides but it's clean i mean just no debris no garbage nothing um okay uh this yeah you can pull this off if you want i don't want um wow okay oh this fell out from the back didn't it okay well let's throw this back in if we can if we can and still not have it fall back out um washer Bearings. You know what? I gotta, I gotta put this pivot in here first. Let's go from the front and where does that pivot gotta land? Oh, bottom. Okay, so we'll bottom, face the bottom. Okay, we're good. Then we got bearings. Then we got go go juice. Go go juice. Okay, you done? Now, oh crap! What are we doing? We gotta put. Well, at some point in time. We got a button lock to go in here. Ooh, uh, let me see. How do we put the blade up? Oh, let's get the stop in. We got a lot of moving parts here. It seems it's not that difficult. I'm just making a big damn deal of it. And I gotta pull that thing back a little to roll this around. See what I'm doing? Okay, okay. Um, Okay, now, I don't know if I got this turned quite enough. Yeah, I think I do. Okay, this, and then I need some uh, goop on here. And uh, let's see about putting this. We kind of came from the backside. And normally when I do these button locks, I take them from the front. But see what the spring and everything I got in here? Now I've just got to set everything down in the right position. And let's hope that I can. And now I just lost that out the back, but that's okay. I don't care. Um, yeah, there you go. Get them screws to come through where they're supposed to. And this right here. This flat spot's got to be lined up with that scale. And if I'm looking at this correctly, okay, ooh, that goes really in easily. 
and these little babies are falling out the back, but that's okay. That's no big deal. I'll put these screws in one by one. It'll hold this puppy together. Wow. Okay, that's good. Long John on the other side in here. You ain't gonna meet up unless you do. Okay, we got you. We got you. Forgotten about you. Okay. You're locked down. One more. One more. Uh, the hardware is great on this thing. I mean, it's just real easy to feel where you need to be on it. I think we're all locked down. Are we centered? Yeah, it looks centered. Yeah, it looks centered. Okay, let me see if we got any blade play. No. Any here? No. Okay. No problems there. It looks solid. Whew. Baby, that's got action, doesn't it? It's got action. I don't know if I want to crank down on it much more or not. Actually, let me... Nah, it feels pretty positive and tight right where it is. Yeah. That's a, that's a sound, isn't it? All right, Max Ace Babylon. Yeah, that's, that's a cool knife. I like the design. I like everything about it. I like the button lock. I like the hardware. I like the fit and finish. The price I don't think is ridiculous, especially if you can get 10% off. And I, even at 250, I don't, I don't think that's insane. Uh, I think it's a good solid knife. It, you know, it gives me that feeling of like a Riot knife, that kind of thing is, is where that brings me. I like their stuff, I do. We are Love Them Knives. Thank you so much, guys. And you know what? Stay sharp.